7 Cities to Visit in Morocco on Your First Visit If you're starting to plan your trip, here are 7 solid cities to visit in Morocco that'll give you a good introduction to the country. 1. Tangier Tangier's biggest claim to fame, at least in my head, is that it's incredibly close to Spain and the northern Moroccan border. Specifically, it sits as the western entrance to the Strait of Gibraltar. Because of its location, Tangier has been known for its mix of cultures and as a major port city. 2. Chefchaouen. The famous blue city of Chefchaouen. This was obviously on my list as it's a photographer's dream. I also read the town is much more relaxed compared to the rest of Morocco, so I thought it'd be a nice way to get more acclimated to the culture. I will say, I feel like because the area is so calm and blue, it kind of emphasizes it when the men get a little too aggressive. It stood out more to me here than in FEs, but it might have just been me still getting used to Morocco. Remember to just ignore them and keep walking. 3. FEs. FEs is one of the oldest cities in Morocco and the second largest after Casablanca. It dates all the way back to the 700s and 800s, and from what I read, its Medina, Efes El Bali, which was also built around the same time, is the best preserved. I'd say Efes's most notable feature is the Shuara Tannery, which you can see from different rooftops and balconies. 4. Merzouga. If you're hoping to visit the desert while in Morocco and not do a multi-day Marrakesh excursion, then Merzouga is one of the places you want to stay. It's right by the Cherg Ebi sand dunes and is otherwise a pretty sleepy town. I personally didn't love the town itself, so I wouldn't hang out here for an extended time. I did however enjoy how close it was to the sand dunes, and if you go at a cooler time, you could actually walk out to them right from town. 5. Warza Zayt. Sitting south of the High Atlas Mountains, Warza Zayt is most known as Morocco's Little Hollywood since its film sets have seen the likes of everyone from Doris Day to Amelia Clark. The biggest site, Eight Ben Hadou, is actually about 30 minutes away. You might just recognize it as Yunkai from Game of Thrones. There is also the Cinema Museum and the Atlas Studios area where there's a lot of filming done. 6. Marrakesh. Ah Marrakesh, the number one the top cities to visit in Morocco. Some people who visit the country, only visit this bustling place. It's a huge hub for travelers, and a lot of the places we visited for multiple days can technically be done as a day trip or two to three day Marrakesh excursion. We didn't spend a ton of time in Marrakesh, so we missed some of the bigger highlights. I spent one of our two full days there on a day trip to the Uzud waterfalls while Autumn finished a big grad school project. The next day we hit Jardin Marjorelle, had lunch at the loveliest place called the Amal Center, and then did a really fun evening food tour with Marrakesh Food Tours. 7. Asora. Ah Asora, or as GOT fans might call it, Astapor, home to the Unsullied. I'm so happy my last major place was Asora because it's such a different vibe than everywhere else, and it's tied with Warza Zayt as one of my favorite cities to visit in Morocco, and I'd say of all seven on this list, it also felt like the safest. It's just airier and more relaxed. The Medina doesn't feel like a claustrophobic mess, and the sea breeze is the loveliest of all. It was also the coolest place we stayed, we actually got a few goosebumps at night. Bonus some more cities to add if you have longer. Agadir, further south than Asora. Apparently if you rent a car and drive in between the cities, you might just see the famous goats on trees. Casablanca. I guess I technically was in Casablanca for a day, but I was tired, and we weren't staying near any of the big sites. Rabat, the capital city of Morocco. Meknes, with Rabat, Marrakesh, and Fez, Meknes is last of the imperial cities in Morocco on this list. And there you have it. 7 cities to visit in Morocco to help you start planning your trip. Let me know if I've missed any.